the Pocono Mountains covers 2,394 square miles in northeastern Pennsylvania. Mountain elevations are well over 2,500 feet above sea level. Over 50% is covered by pristine forest. With over 150 lakes, 170 miles of rivers, countless remote streams, and numerous waterfalls nestled throughout the mountains. The Pocono region is the perfect backdrop for extreme sports, and it is here that we begin our quest for the elusive adrenaline-driven kayakers known as creek boaters. We learn about a group of paddlers and their plans to kayak down a waterfall in northeastern Pennsylvania, approximately 15 minutes from Lake Wallen Palma. The recent warm temperatures are contributing to high water levels, creating the perfect conditions to run remote streams and waterfalls. Many of the falls and streams in the mountains are only accessible by foot or kayak. Shahola Falls in the northern Pocono Mountains has an upper elevation of 1,192 feet and drops 90 feet in elevation over a 300-foot run. The falls are a series of rock ledges and cliffs ranging in height from 3 to 18 feet and without significant water flowing over them. It can be extremely dangerous with water temperatures of 35 degrees and the air temperatures of 45 degrees. Hypothermia can quickly set in. The proper equipment and safety gear is key to surviving these conditions. This includes a professional white water boat, personal flotation device or rescue vest, helmet including full face protection, elbow pads, a high quality paddle that can withstand rock impacts, dry suit, and protective paddling gloves. Additional equipment might include a knife to free yourself from entanglements, a whistle for emergency communication and signaling, and a throw bag, which are all important safety tools. We learned quickly that proper protection comes with a price. This section of whitewater runs down the falls, through box canyons, over drops and ledges, and is about a half a mile from put in to take out. To prepare for the run, several safety best practices are followed. Never paddle alone, especially in remote areas. Evaluate the water conditions. Check the area for hazards, such as fallen trees, submerged rocks, floating or falling ice chunks, and water features, such as holes, waves, and currents. And most importantly, make sure your skill level matches the conditions. There are two main lines or paths the boaters take over the falls. The slide is a series of ledges and drops with a 60 degree rock slide at the end of the falls. The notch ends with a drop over a 20 foot cliff. The number one thing for me is uh, keeping an eye on all the people in my group and uh, always making sure all my gear is good. Yep, I wear elbow pads, helmets, PFD, throw bag in the boat just in case you gotta help somebody else out. After following safety procedures, boaters head over to the water. The majority of boaters run the slide, so their boats drop over a series of ledges.
some adventurous paddlers run the notch. through a series of ledges, box canyons, boulders, and other obstacles to reach the takeout. Shahola Creek provides challenges for even the most experienced athletes. As paddlers reach the takeout, the toughest part of this adventure is climbing the steep mountain paths and following the narrow cliff trails back to the launch area. Each paddler is carrying approximately 50 to 80 pounds of gear. Two runs in a day is a great workout. Kayaking in extreme conditions creates strong bonds, trust, and a sense of community between paddlers. The people are great, the sport's great, um, he's a dragon winner rush. And if you, if you progress safely, it's actually safe. Places I can get to that other people can't get with kayak, or by hiking, or the car, um, I get into some really interesting wilderness. Um, and the community's really awesome. And I was pretty cool. I just, that water is really cold, I'm imagining, so I wouldn't do it, but it was pretty cool. If you're interested in paddling, in the Pocono Mountains, there are recreational opportunities for every skill level. 